Nes Pamilar of FEU. In a must-win situation, I'm pretty sure there's something he's not used to being in. Yeah. He's used to dominate, be at the top two, have that twice to beat advantage. But right now, he's not even in the final four picture. And he's looking for a chance to get in. While Coach Shaq De Los Santos, of course, of UST. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's enjoying where he's at, where the <laughs> yeah. team is at right now. That's right. And remember, USC still has a chance. So they don't have a chance to uh, clinch that number one spot, but uh, they, they, they will still be facing De La Salle. And, mm-hmm. you know, that's probably what he's looking ahead to. But for Coach Nes Pominar, uh, there's no, uh, the future is right now. Right here, right now. That's right. This is the game that matters for them. And, of course, uh, like what we said, their fate also remains uh, in the hands of two teams, Atene and Adams, and how they're going to perform at the last stages of the, this eliminations and uh, what the, the things that that's in your control you've got to do your best with and that is of course winning the remaining games for the FEU Lady Tamaraws and again this is one of those games that are very important and they have to start today USC and FEU line up on your screens what is interesting to note here Ian is the fact that how is FEU going to bounce back after a very morale draining loss against Ateneo I mean they were up two sets to nothing on a you know high and all of a sudden everything was you know the rug was pulled out from under them and they fell flat on their face in their last game that's right how do you Uh, rebound from that very hard but FEU knowing them uh, they they have the championship experience coach uh, Nespo Camilar has been through a lot of battles and I'm sure they practiced the whole week getting ready and uh, trying to forget whatever happened with Ateneo but uh, you're up against a strong team today You've got, your focus should be there should be uh, to control the offense of USD number one and of course avoid that the long, the long arms of the tall blockers of USD in the front line Tabaquero of course is right there you got a controller if you limit the points of Tabaquero and Maizo basically you've done uh, 50% of what you need to do but uh, that, 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 that of course is uh, relies on the blocking of like what you said Luke Uvalio and Vivas mm-hmm. in the middle also Gonzalez to work hard one of the things FEU has to also consider is they have to put away that stinging loss yeah. against the USD three set straight loss That's right. against this team so you have to turn it around forget all about that there's a brand new meeting and this is a time for you to shine exactly uh, we expected that match to be a five setter mm-hmm. or, or at the very least a four setter that's close but parang na ano eh nawala sa tiyempong FEU talaga that game and USC just coasted along uh, in a very unlikely fashion against your Perino rivals FEU but again Vivas starting off hot and strong this afternoon getting the first point of the game did they get the point or was it an, a net violation oh I think the point's going to USD to USD that's right uh huh Lady Tigers is getting, or the Tigers is getting uh, the better of that play. Uh-huh. One of the better setters, April Jose. And there's Vivas finally with a point for FEU. Let's uh, see the game plan of uh, USD as a team as we send it courtside to Jessica Mendoza. Eric, the Tigers are ready to roll despite the fact that one of their main players, Dindin Santiago, is still recovering from a right ankle sprain. Uh, Coach Shaq told me that whether or not he's going to play her today will depend on the performance of Hannah Manse. He did tell her to be ready to play in any case, even if she is still below 100%. Now, Coach is pretty confident about this game because he knows that his girls still consider a win today important to, as you said, cement their hold on the second place spot, as well as to serve as momentum to prepare to propel themselves to their game versus LaSalle. Eric and Ian? Thank you, Jess. Jessica, that is why you see Hannah Manse in the middle instead of the usual starter, Din Din Santiago. Yeah. That's going to play a big role uh, between these two teams. That's right. And so far, uh, FE, I like the way they're moving mm-hmm. to start off this match. Viva scoring uh, with those outside hits uh, immediately. And you can see her really asking for the sets. Now she's getting another chance, dropping it. Aiza Maizo. Wow. Can you say? Uh, I mean, she, she's, yeah. she had like, what, five-day rest or something? <laughs> yeah, Six-day right. rest. She didn't play in the last game. Chevre, I she's got to be super fresh. Yeah, that's right. Not only that, super eager <laughs> to play. Bianco getting blocked by Ortiz and Maizo. Dimakulangan to Tapajero from the outside. And April Jose had to shy away from that ball. Let's see what's going on in uh, the FEU huddle as we uh, listen in to Ricky Flores. Eric and Ian, I don't know if 
you're aware of this belief that we girls have that whenever we're heartbroken, one of the things that turns our frown upside down is a trip to the salon. And the Lady Tamara told me earlier that the Ateneo loss was too devastating. They just had to take it out on their hair. Now, on a coach's perspective, Coach Ness was very calm and at peace about the loss. He said that there's a reason for everything, and one of those reasons might be Shira Gonzalez's injury. Now, for your information, Eric, Coach Ness has decided not to use Shira Gonzalez today so she could fully recover na talaga. And the only answer Coach Ness gave me when I asked for a game plan was, walang game plan. I enjoy lang namin ito and we're just going to have fun. Well said for a team with nothing to lose, don't you think, Eric? Oh, definitely. Thanks uh, for that report, Ricky. Um, you know, that sometimes is the antidote yeah. a team is looking for. Play loose, play yep. pressure free. That's right, that's right. And uh, Coach Ness uh, telling us that uh, probably that he knows really uh, the attitude of his players at the moment. And to add more pressure on these girls without Chaira Gonzalez playing might be too much for them. And so the instruction is just to play loose, enjoy the game, uh, and of course, go to the salon and have a, <laughs> have a hair fix. That is why I, I see silky smooth hair. Just like what Zohan would say on the, uh, the FE lineup. <laughs> Very silky smooth <laughs> for all. The, the only person I see with a new hairdo actually is... Um, the, 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 play, the uh, player mentioned by Ricky who's not going to be seeing action today Sarah Gonzalez, Sarah Gonzalez. and I think when it's you are sporting the same kind of uh, hairstyle yeah hairstyle Vivas rocking it here's the Makulangan setting it up short set for Ortiz one of the most efficient yeah. middle hitters in the league That's this right. season they've uh, done that to perfection that play of them of theirs that uh Yun, yung big quick play for Ortiz from Dimakulangan almost a sure point almost all the time. And one of the things you have to be amazed uh, about uh, Ortiz is the fact that she doesn't hit a lot, but when she does, Yun. it's almost a yeah. sure point for yeah, UST. That's, right. that's why she has a very high percentage. She's up there among the top attackers. And uh, having a setter like Rea Dimakulangan to feed you all those excellent sets, mahihiyak na lang na I convert into points. That was on the line from FEU. Cabana with that hit. Wow. USD on top by two. A lot of USD fans have uh, come up uh-huh. to the arena as well as uh, FEU fans. Dimakulangan all the way to the other end. Caballejo, that's still alive. Custodio. Four touches because it bounced off Ilali and Vivas. <laughs> And eagle eyes by our refs. 8-5, three-point advantage by UST over FEU. Good afternoon, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Studio 23's coverage of the UAAP Volleyball Tournament. That is inside and point for Caballejo and UST. Caballejo also a, uh, a welcome addition to the lineup of UST.